Bunny. That's actually my moniker on like Twitter and Facebook. Like it's a like, I A M Chubby Bunny. Um, when I was in high school, I I just really like bunnies and like I used to wear my hair in like little bunny ears all the time actually. And my friends was like, oh, like you like bunnies? Have you ever tried the I Am Chubby Bunny game? And I was like, no, what is that? She was like, yeah, you should do this thing. It's funny. You know, you put the marshmallows in your mouth. Blah blah blah. And you know, I was like 16. Like, oh, that sounds so cool. Anyway, so it was kind of like it became like my AIM screen name and like my Gmail account. When I started my my brand, I just kept the the name, and it's worked pretty well for me. It just caught on, and people really liked the stuff I did. And, Especially Sanrio has helped me a lot. They licensed um, one of my ideas for their Hello Kitty bow, and that worked out really well because they, they, it was kind of like you know uh, a shot in the dark for them too, but it became one of their most like popular items. So they kept ordering more, and for me, it helped me stop doing the day job that I really hated. Like once I got the Sanrio deal, I was like, oh, I I can do this. Like I can financially just be a designer, and that was that was a really big step. Yeah. So and now there's this party. Hi, I'm Misha. I'm at the Bunnies and Bows show at Japan LA in honor of the beautiful Michelle, chubby bunny herself. And um, I got lucky. Michelle likes my work, I guess. And um, I love her stuff. I bought several of her bows. No, it's the red one. This is the one from the Hello Kitty event. I also have the pink one and the black one. And I bought a bunch more bows at this event because she makes really, really adorable stuff. Um, I paint big-eyed girls kind of cutesy bootsy stuff and for this show I did a bunny with a Michelle on the other side kind of like a Queen of Hearts piece and then I also did a Damask style piece with her logo. Between what I've seen with her and the stuff I've done here at Japan LA it's just a nice happy scene of people. I like doing these events all these people are really positive everybody's looking forward it's kind of a nice change from a lot of the stuff you get in art scenes all over the country. LA is a really positive wonderful scene. back from Japan and we were just hanging out like going to a lot of the Japan LA events and then after a while she and I just decided like oh we should just start doing events. Actually Jamie was the one that told us we should help her. And then after that you know we got our contract with Sanrio and we started doing a lot of um, a whole bunch of started getting rolling there. My usual uh, style is much more sketchy. I tend to do things in monochrome or like with like red and black and white. Um, so I'm trying to involve it more into something that's just not about girls, something, you know, like other inspirations that have like, you know, like cyber stuff or, you know, like diesel punk. When Michelle decided to do this show, like, she just asked me if I wanted to put anything in it, so I just, you know, drew from inspiration with her. I know she loves really, like, glittery, cute stuff, so I was like, oh, okay, bunnies, cute space stuff. Yeah, yeah, um, I, I met Michelle originally at the Hello Kitty anniversary party at Royal Tea. We met through our friend Jamie, who owns Japan LA, and then we saw each other again at Art Basel in Miami, and um, Michelle was one of the people that sort of remembered this late 90s, like, independent comic book thing that, that I did, and, um, and, and then she invited me to be in this show, you know, her first sort of um, curated art show, and I know Jamie already, obviously, I, you know, from Japan LA and I was like yeah let's you know let's do it. The bunnies and bows theme kind of like fit perfect for me and it's just you know it's just cool to do work and collaborate with people that you're friends with already so it was, it was sort of like a no-brainer. Movement. I'm a jewelry designer. I make really cool, fun, wacky jewelry that is inspired by pop culture, Hollywood, and the superstars. I met Michelle through Japan LA, um, I think, well, probably four or five years ago. So Jamie invited them over. We did this photo shoot with them with my pretzels, and that's how we met. And ever since, I fell in love with the girls and I've always kept in touch. And, um, yeah, it's Michelle. She's pretty magical. I'm excited to be part of anything that Michelle does because it's always so well put together and 
very cute. And I think cute is definitely the word that Michelle lives by. And so do I. <laughs> so it works out good. I did a painting for the Bunnies and Bows event. It is called uh, Lucky Dead Bunny. It's inspired by, of course, um, the rabbits and all these bunnies that are around for Easter. It's cute. And I, um, it's acrylic on wood. And I coated it with magic. So it's super sparkly and glittery. You should really check it out. <laughs> hey, my name is Curly. I'm a musician and I'm also modeling for Chubby Bunny's new line. Dude, I don't know how I know Michelle. How do you know Michelle? I think it's like, I think everybody in LA that loves art knows Michelle because Michelle is like one of these hundred people that goes to all the art gallery openings and has cool hair. So we all kind of have the same vibe. I've actually known Michelle maybe like for half a year. Um, everybody that's kind of involved in Chubby Bunny is very like, DIY, the way we did the photo shoot and the way we just kind of like everything just comes together at a last minute, you know, and just this like just creativity and having fun. Yeah.